Hello everybody, here's a farmer here and welcome back to my channel. So this video is about what I personally think is my top 5 mods from October 2020. So today is 31st of October, it's Halloween, my kids have been out scafting after candy <laughs> and uh, now I'm, we are back home and I thought maybe it's time to wrap up the October months. So this of course this is my favorite five months for October. There might be several others that's just as good as these ones. Uh, I was looking in the mod hub and I counted at least 11 pages and yeah, it was around 275 mods for October. I think there are of course some of those who are updates and uh, not new, but I reckon at least half of them, about 130, 140 new mods in October. So I think that's a lot. Uh, a good work by all the models and also of course by Giants software. So let's jump in it. First one here is the Liquid Bowser. This is by Euro Agri Modding. It's 5.74 megabyte. This one will hold 18,000 liter. The thing I like about this is it's really nice to have on your farm. Uh, it takes, I think, more or less all the liquids that's in game. Let's jump in and we find it on the animals. There we go. I used this one for the lizard water trailer for my water, but this one takes milk. Uh, I think the next one is goat milk, water, diesel, slurry, liquid fertilizer, herbicide and yeah and you can change the color main color and rim color like so lizard wheel brand or Michelin or Trelleborg like I said 18,000 liter is really nice for these kind of trailers to have on your farm to either transport your milk or water we have of course the in-game one, this one is 7000 liter and then if you're going up you get either these dolly trailers or tankers which I don't like or you have to go up to the big ones where you have to have a dolly or a semi truck. So that's the first one, the liquid bowser by your agri modding. 12,500 to buy. I really like it. And as I said, this is a video of mods I like for October. <laughs> so anyway, I guess I'm getting a lot of comments saying this is not the best ones. Uh, that might be uh, right, but these are the five I like. Moving on, we got this one. This is the Ryk16M or RYC16M. This is by Rolly Christie and VSR Modding. This is a 6 meter plow. And you think, ah, don't we have these kind of 6 meter plows? We might have, but I like it for two reasons. It's cheap and it's also pretty fast. So you'll find it on the tools and plows. Until now I use the lizard subsoiler 6 meter because it's it's yeah I like it. And now we got this one, the right one, which is 20 kilometers an hour, 6 meter, and this one is 17 kilometers an hour. This one, the lizard subsoiler is more than double the price of this one. It's only 8,000 to buy. And you can change the design color, which suits 
your mood or your tractors or your farm. So yeah, I really like this one. Moving on, we got this one. Ooh, this is the Road Runner Plus by Mantrid. We got several really nice semi trucks in October. We got uh, at least two of the VSR truck, is it called? This is the Road Runner Plus. I really like this one. Big American semi truck. You can also have it with. A three point and a PTO on the front, and you can also have a trailer hitch, a ball hitch, and a PTO on the back. And the horsepower on this one you can get up to a really insane high of horsepower. This one is, uh, so to speak, normal one, whilst this one you can see on the back here is a hybrid. This ones have over a thousand horsepower. Let's go ahead and find it on the trucks. There we go. It's 179,000 to buy. This one requires 34 slots, so a little bit higher on the slot count, but you'll see why. There's a lot of details and colors. Whew. There's a lot of different colors and like for all of the in-game colors you also have chrome or satin. I like what was, that was the rim. But if you go to the main color, the normal in-game color and you also got it in metallic, chrome or satin. And also the design color which changes the bottom part of the truck like so. That was a little bit crash, but anywho. Wheel brands we have Lizard, Trelleborg, and Michelin, and Nokian. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. And if you go with the Lizard one, you got different types of rims. That one is pretty cool. Fenders, that's the fenders on the back wheels, either long with the upper color or long with the uh, bottom color or divided in two, like so, or only a small one on the front. Attachers, you have either rear trailer or front tree point link and a PTO or both an engine setup Whew. here we have 950 horsepower and it only costs 180,000 then you got uh, okay the start one is 790 horsepower and then up to 950 and then Ooh, I think this one is 1800 horsepower. So yeah, 1800, that's the hybrid one. Then you get the hybrid mark on the back side there. Yeah, it's 1800 horsepower. Ooh. And then back to seven. And then you have a lot of decals uh, on the back or on the front. So you can see the bird there popping up. I just took all of them. Like so. There we go. So let's jump in this one. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of different camera angles also on this. Even the key turns around when I start it. Maybe we need a little bit more sound. lights and a honk yeah and I was telling about camera angles we got this one we got a little bit further back 
and then all the way back there. So if you're hauling a really long trailer and you're backing into a narrow space, you can have the camera around here. And you can also see the back, uh, the axle in the back is also turning. Which decreases the turning radius. So, there we go. That's the Roadrunner Plus by Mantred. Moving on to the fourth one for my top five in October is the Animal Goods Transport. This is also by Mantred. It requires 4.62 megabyte. Uh, these ones you are divided in two actually. You have the pallets and you also have the trailers. So on the pallet side you have either the wool pallet or one for chicken. This one you will find on the pallets. There we go. The pallets are five slots. So here we can see for wool, this one will take 12,000 liter or 12 pallets, so to speak. The eggs one, then you see it changes to a chicken. This will take 28,800 liter. Oh, sorry. And you also got the trailer one. That's the other part of the mod. And you see, I have for wool. These ones you will find under animals, tools, and animals. There we go. We got the wool trailer and the egg trailer. The trailers are 8 slots each, so here you can change the design color which changes the deck itself. Main color will change the chassis underneath and you have the rim color. And also here as you can see there is a lot of these metallic and also satin colors satin green I really like the satin one it's not that gl glory or shiny as metallic wheel brands we have lizard Frillborg Michelin and back to lizard and we'll set up the axle in the back you can actually have as a steering axle that helps a lot with getting around tight corners Decal is the flegal decal on the back, either white, red or black. Attachers, you can also have a trailer hitch on the back. So, there we go. And it's important that when you place these ones on your animal pen or pasture, that this and here you have to place outwards so now you see I placed two of these pallets as long as they are inside the marked area you can get two of these ones this is the in-game big sheep pasture which will take 250 sheep and usually if you don't have these when you get four pallets then you get notification that it's full but here you can see I have 24 pallets so that's a huge improvement and the trailer itself also the it's a auto loader you only need to keep in mind that when you have loaded them on you cannot offload them to a certain area you have to go to a cell point but also the auto load function here is pretty 
big the circle so you don't need to you don't need to put on the like uh, operating or transporting there we go so it's loading also pretty fast so this trailer will take 24,000 liter there we go and it also have tension belts but as the model is saying in the mod hub the tension belts are only there for decoration so to speak you can have them off like so and then you just drive to your sell point and then sell away your wool Whoop. let's jump here So there we go, that's the animal goods transport. This is actually my favorite one for October. Then, oh, listen to the sound of the engine. Ooh. And yeah, and we also got this one. This is not one of my five top top five but I just wanted to give a shout out shout out shout out shout out to <laughs> Sid modding and BM86 modding for making this one this is the Challenger MT800 series and they got a special edition of it this is called the breast cancer awareness so this one you will also find in large tractors and it's actually also pretty cheap for a big tractor like this so but I just wanted to show it big thanks to Sid modding and BM86 modding moving on to the last one over there now this one is a really big pack this is called the Jack Moose Mowit pack uh, the manufacturer is A2 Square Studios. The author is Posang, Posnaco and Dutch Modding. The whole package with the mowers and the trailers will require 16.05 megabytes. You have three different mowers. You have this one, which is called the Mow It, that will mow your grass and leave a grass swat in behind. And you got this one, which is called the Bagget, which will mow your grass, and you have a bagger on the back here. And you can actually, with this one, you can lift the whole <laughs> mower, just like the PC guys can, with the super strength. And lastly, you have the Mulchet. This one will mow your grass, but it will not leave any swat, so it will remove the grass completely. And you also have different options with lights. You can have this bull bar or roll bar. You also have some attachers in front if you want to attach a leveler or a snow, snow plow. And on the back, you can also have this trailer bull hitch on the back like I have on these two let's jump in this one fire it up and even this one uh, just like listen to the honk on this one now that's the moose oh, let's put the help window on unfold the mower L1 and X turn on the mower and away we go this one mows at 28 kilometers an hour so it's really fast and when you are driving slowly you can turn around a dime so to speak once you get up a little bit in speed you get some resistance which I think it's really realistic and then we got the baguette 
And these ones also have a really cool feature underneath. They have like a, a light underneath, a glow light underneath. Maybe I should turn it up. Lower the pickup. Ah, okay. Yeah, because the bag, the bag out on the back, it's um, it's just like a loading wagon. So you have to lower the pickup. Uh, now it's turned on. I need to lift, turn on forge wagon. There we go. So now we are moving and we are collecting the grass. The speed drops down to 9 kilometers an hour. And the bag, the baggage or the bagger on the back, you can have in two different sizes. I think it's either. 350 liter or 1500 liter, which I have here, is the biggest one. So that's the baguette. I'm gonna keep that full because I'm gonna test it on one of the trailers afterwards. And then we got the mulch it. Unfolded L1 and X, L1 and square to turn it on. And this should remove the grass completely. You see, and it doesn't leave anything behind. There we go. Let's bring this one on. And these ones you will find on the vehicles and mowers. There we go. The mower the baguette and the mulch it. We have a lot of different options. You can change the rim color. We have some uh, really nice A2 Square Studio colors which is customized. Main color you get the Jack Moose aged and the lawn green aged new colors. Like so, and the design color is the bottom part. No, that's the upper part. Then you go to lights, you have standard, you have front lights, you have roll bar lights, then you need to put the roll bar on, or you have all attachers. You have rear hitch or a front loader which connect to your leveler. Additional feature you have the roll bar which you see now also with lights Underglow that's the light underneath you can change to different colors that will show up when it's getting dark and wheel setup you have five five different wheels set one two three four and five and the same setup is for the other ones the baggit or the bagger will you will find on the loading wagons. There we go. The mowers are five slots. I didn't catch how much this one was, but anyhow, now you see the capacity is 350 liter, and you can go up to 1500 liter, but it doesn't change the physical size are the same and it's one of those menus that you have to change the main color before you change everything so the main color let's go with race red that's this one and the sign color is the bucket itself or the bag there we go 1600 to buy So then let's move over to the trailers. We have three different trailers. Now there are two, three different trailers. You got the A trailer, which you can have enclosed, or you can have it like this, where you actually have a 
capacity of dumping grass into it and you can have your mower on the back and then you got the type B trailer which is this one and you got the type D trailer which is this one which is more or less a mini size of the tipper trailer from also 82 square logistics I think so let's try out and uh, yeah the easiest way I found this is if you go all the way to the left on the menu and 82 square studios logistics and tools you can find here so if you go into tools you will find all the mowers and the bag and the levelers and the snowplow and if you go to logistics you will find the three new trailers here and the rest of what A2 Square Studios have made so that's an easy way to find it so this is the A trailer you can change the color same color pattern as the other ones you can choose between deck deck with a gas tank on the front then you get the tip side box tip side box and gas tank and then you get over to the enclosed one uh, I think that was it and with enclosed with a gas tank <laughs> so the gas tank you can choose to be steel diamond plate or plastic and attach your type you can have gooseneck or bumper pull decals it's pretty cool you can have either Jack Moose John Deere or 80s, 82's Lawn Care wheel setup you have standard, knock-in and work tires and the same one with trailer B you can choose between deck, deck with a gas tank or enclosed or enclosed with a gas tank and this one has also a new type of attacher it's bumper pull or bumper pull raised which is pretty cool lights you have these rotatable or adjustable work lights which 82 square studio always use I think they are great to use floor type you have wood metal one two three and back to wood wheel setup same here standard Nokia and work tires and the last one type D tipper function, tipper with gas tank or back to tipper here you have also gooseneck or bumper pull or bumper pull raised same also here with the decal check moose, john deere and 82 square lawn care same wheel setup and this one has eight yeah the capacity is not a coincident it's 8282 82. so that's pretty neat let's jump in this one connected L1X opens up the back you have lights also lights inside so this one will actually fit two of these guys I tried it and it fits perfectly And it also have tension belts if you go back here the tension belts actually is going over the mower so that's pretty nice to have and L1 R1 and right stick you can see the lights on top of the trailer is moving then we move over to this guy which I haven't tried. I did the mod review on this, but I didn't try the box itself. So let's jump in the baggit. I think I offloaded some grass in it, but I didn't try to tip it. So I forgot to open the cover, of course, but let's 
try to get this guy on here. I turned so quickly. <laughs> Soft overloading of grass. And these ones also straps down. You can see the tension belts are going over the mower, so that's pretty good. And now let's try to overload it. I think it's L1, R1, and triangle to overload. Go. And yeah, I want to show you the last one because the second or the B type is the same type, it's just a little bit smaller. But this one is like the big tipper from A2 Square Studio. If you press L1 and X to unfold it, then you get these wraps out which are pretty nice I wonder if I can get a mower on board now let's try this one this is of course strapped down let's jump to where is it there this one I think you can actually drive it inside while you're having it product in it. Now I have full of lime. Oh, let's try to... Oh, I need to unfold it. There we go. So, there we go. <laughs> we can drive it inside. Then we can go and offload the lime. So, I think that's more or less it. This, these are my five top mods for October. So, if you found this useful or helpful or you like it, please smash that like button. Let's try to unload it while I have this one in it. A bit crazy but anyway let's put on the tension belts so the mower doesn't go out. There we go. Subscribe to my channel if you feel for it. Leave a comment, share my video if you want and thank you for watching. Bye bye.